Besides UW, right now he's working at the uh, Computer Science Graduate Center in City, uh, City University of New York, where uh, within the last couple years he designed an entire graduate uh, program uh, for that school um, as a, a computer science teacher. Uh, well, his presentation is Biquaternion Generalized Maxwell uh, Equations, Longitudinal and, uh, Longitudinal and Scalar Waves. Um, help me welcome Professor Herlich. In particular, we're going to be talking about Longitudinal and Scalar Waves. And we will begin uh, talking about James Clerk Maxwell. Now, I've listed on the right-hand side the number of slides I have on each of these topics. So Maxwell is going to be an interesting biographic sketch that has some things in it that I didn't know, and perhaps you didn't know it either. He was a romantic. Uh, there was a series of close to 50 poems that have been published, which he wrote. And this is the first stanza of a poem he wrote to his wife-to-be, who he was at that time separated from. Oft in the night from this lone room, I long to fly over the, sea and, uh, the land and sea, to pierce the dark dividing gloom and join myself to thee. And all of this that he wrote in 1857 was confirmed by the 20th century space probes. The rings indeed are made out of particles ranging from microscopic dust to barnyard sized, sized boulders with perhaps a few kilometer sized objects as well. Everybody I think have seen this kind of a, a photo. Here's a surprise perhaps. Maxwell did the first color photography. Ampere's law, del cross B equals mu J, where J is the total. You can see how he had to write three equations like this, and we write one equation like that. The Lorentz force, now the Lorentz force is actually not typically included in the four Maxwell's equations. It's included as a fifth equation that also is very important within the physics. And so Maxwell wrote it, like you see here. And in the modern notation, you would write the electric field is mu, the velocity vector, times h, minus the partial derivative of the magnetic vector potential, minus the gradient of the, um, minus the gradient of the um, electric potential. Now, if you have an E-field and you put a charge, what happens is you get a force. The E-field causes a force, and that force, so we multiply both sides of this equation by Q. Now we get a force on the left, and now we get this equation over here, and uh, this equation here is called the Lorentz force. Well, <coughs> I've written the, uh, our letters against the uh, font which is the German letters of his time. And so instead of writing PQR, as I showed you the equations, uh, he would write the, the German letter E, and the mechanical force, the German letter F, and the magnetic vector potential, the German letter um, A. So you see, Maxwell wrote these as his equations. That was the modern notation. We went over that. This is what he wrote as his summary. The current quaternion is the conductive current quaternion plus the time derivative of the electric field quaternion, or the displacement current, I should, displacement current quaternion. This is the way he wrote it. Now one more thing. Here's your wire. In this wire, 
you have an electron gas. Those are the free electrons. The energy is carried not inside the wire, but outside the wire. Now you see the component of the heavy side energy signal that travels on closest to the surface of the wire diverges into the wire. That's the current that we typically use, the one that's in the wire. But the far greater amount of current is flowing outside the wire, heavy side and pointing. 